Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here with Dead Space. Yeah, this is one of the last great true survival horror video games that's come out. This game is about six years old, but you know, if you can get that part out of your mind and you've never played it before, it really is something special. It's got a really, really you know, great atmosphere to it. The gameplay is very fitting. Uh, it feels a little clunky if you play it, you know, by modern standards, because it's about, you know, like a, it's, you know, from 2008. But here we go. Basically, we are Isaac Clark, an engineer, aboard a rescue repair vessel, heading over to this planet cracker spaceship, the Ishimura. That uh, we've lost radio contact with it. Everyone knows that the ship appears to be damaged, and we are the rescue crew heading in there to investigate what the fuck is going on. So, kind of get a little bead on the cool little graphics setup. You can see the ship over there to your left through the, through the view of our ship that we are currently on. And there's going to be, you know, kind of basic third person, you know, shooter, you know, survival horror game where, you know, you got to manage your supplies take down necromorphs and uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that so this game is a little bit different uh, it has dated it has aged a bit it may feel a bit dated but oh man it is incredible now when you want to really talk about all the aspects to this game you know the gameplay the story the characters character development uh, you know all the aspects that make a good game this is a nine out of ten I will throw that right out here I believe this is, truly is a nine out of ten game even if you were to play it now. If you've never played it, by the way, up until this point in 2014, I would really suggest going back and getting it because it can't be more than 5 or $10, you know, for the Xbox 360 or the PS3 or whatever, you know, platform you would like to purchase it on. I believe it's on the PC as well, but what do I know? <laughs> I'm not a PC gamer. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. What the hell is going on here? What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're going to hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether is damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. The field's too strong! Okay, it seems we have uh, arrived at our destination. Doesn't look like we're in very good shape as of right now, but we've made it. So that's why I've kind of left the subtitles in if you guys would like to read along with the story, be my guest on what's going on, but I'm not really going to get into that aspect too much of the game. I'm just kind of giving you guys, you know what, the runaround on what this exactly is, so. You know, there's a lot of cool little aspects to this that I haven't seen in another game. Kind of the, the zero G factor is fun. Uh, the combat's a little different too because in this game we're not really going for headshots or things like that. You need to kind of dissect and uh, take off, hey, you know, your done. enemy's limb one by everyone. one. That's how we kill these right. fucking things. So you get jump. your first look at a necromorph not very far into the game. So you know your weapons are like improvised things, you know, like plasma cutters and more or less engineering tools instead of good old-fashioned weaponry. So that also has another little kind of little cool little aspect. You know, to the gameplay, that we are not a soldier. <laughs> Isaac, the main character here, the guy that I've just taken control of. This is my little marker to show me where I'm going. But we are not a soldier, we are not a fighter whatsoever. We are just a lowly, lowly engineer. And we are the ones tasked with saving the fucking day. So, why not? Let's get this show on the road, shall we? So you can see my, the character is, uh, you know, kind of conversing. With all the other characters that have arrived here, we're trying to assess the damage and trying to, you know, figure out exactly what the fuck happened to this ship. I mean, this shit looks, you know, looks like the shit at the fan and it just got real in this bitch. So, oh, I was trying to break that item. I forgot we are not really able to do that yet. So, just kind of giving you a basic tutorial on the controls. That's the aspect, or that's the part of the game, I'm, I should say, rather, where we're at right now, so... Blah, 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 give me some directions, wants me to hack this door and open it up. And assess the next room. So, it looks like we haven't really found any humans. <laughs> Which is, as they were saying earlier, that you know, this ship has a crew of a thousand. To see nobody around is a little unnerving, if you ask me. I think that's the right word, but... Well, at least these guys are armed. <laughs> 
We don't have a weapon to speak of, but these guys do, so. Seems like Hopefully they can keep us protected. Just kind of looking around here, seeing if there's anything I can interact yeah. with, and well, I do not, not believe there there's is yet. Here. So. I can't pick up any broadcasts. Kind of listen to the characters. Yep, there's nobody here. That security console is still alive. Looks like the security console is still Isaac active, and they would like me, of course. <laughs> Oh, uh, to go in there and activate it. That is one of the aspects of this game that it will kind of throw out there as, as a spoiler. It seems like we're always doing everything and everyone else just sits on their ass twiddling their thumbs. But here we go. Let's see what happens if I click this. And uh, bring up the display. Let's see what's going on with the shit. Looks like there's a lot of shit damaged. And we are not doing too well. Doesn't, doesn't look, look good. good. Ship's taking a lot taking of damage. A lot of damage. The tram system is online. Yeah, once you get the tram system back online, you'll be able to kind of zip, zoom, zag, you know, zip, zag your way all around the fucking ship and it makes things a little bit more convenient. Uh oh. This does not look good, folks. We are trapped in here, too. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing comes after us. Yeah, let's kind of sit back and uh, see what happens. See what transpires. Oh, shit. In the room with us. Fucking broke so Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, it's tearing that fucking guy to pieces. It's like they're firing at him. Yeah, we're behind bulletproof or whatever kind of, you know, we're behind, you know, weapon proof glass. Oh, shit. We need to fucking run. Run, Isaac. Run like the wind. Gotta get the fuck out of here. We have no way of defending ourselves. Run. Get to the elevator. No. Right. Oh shit! Motherfucker! Right behind us, huh? Oof! Ah! Oh fuck you! Ah! Nice. <laughs> so as you can see, this game does not. This is the beginning of the game, guys. It does not wait, you know, for you know, the you know, 30 minutes of dramatic build-up to. It pretty much thrusts you right into the action. So that's one another aspect I think is fairly fun about this game. Let's go ahead and pick up our primary weapon. To me, this is actually probably the best weapon in the game. Uh, and then speaking of the first dead space, it is a plasma cutter. Now you can kind of change the direction of the little blasts. And from there, we'll use this thing to dismember our enemies. Take off, take them apart limb by limb. That is the best strategy I have. So. All in all, this game is addicting. It's fun. Uh, you <laughs> Like I said earlier in this video, if you've never played it, it's really something I would suggest you guys go get. You've got to experience this shit. Unless you're, like, squeamish, because it is kind of scary. You know, I will, uh, kind of throw that out there. This, I mean, to me, no, you know, horror movies and that shit don't scare me too much. But this game, yeesh, can be, uh, a little bit scary to, you know, those are better to fit apart. Oh, shit, look at that. Oh, fuck, a necromorph. Oh, blast his leg, blast his arm, blast that tentacle off. Sweet. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Don't you know who you're messing with? Grab some more ammo. Sweet. Looking pretty good to start this game off, but... You know, I've contemplated for a while if I should do a playthrough of this. I haven't quite decided. I've got, you know, a couple other projects going on as it is now, but... You know, Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 are all pretty good games. And I'll give you the rundown. 1 is the best. Uh, 2 is pretty good. Not quite as good as 1. And then 3 is uh, not quite as good as 2, so... The series kind of went downhill after this game, but, you know, it is what it is. Pretty hard to recapture magic sometimes. But come on over here. It looks like there's something to grab. Some credits. And oh, shit! Some fucking necromorph over there. Yeah, I don't want to deal with too many of those assholes. Yeah, this is a cool game, too, where you don't have regenerating health. It goes back to the older days, which I prefer. I think that's another great aspect of this game. None of that regenerating health bullshit. It makes games way too easy these days. So, that's about all there really is to this. That is the pretty much the intro into the game, how you will go through and basically use your engineering skills to try to assess damage, fix up the ship, try to discover what's going on here, and battle necromorphs. So, <laughs> that's the game in a nutshell, folks. And if you're very interested in survival horror or, you know, sci-fi shit with scary monsters Isaac. and cool shit like that, you might want to give this game a look-see. So I'm going to go ahead and let these characters discuss what's going on in the game. And uh, you guys can go ahead and check that out. But anyway, Dead Space, good solid 9 out of 10. So hope you guys enjoyed the little conversation that's ending this. Uh, peace out from your good old buddy, KB Giants fan. Later, guys. You're crazy, Hammond. You're going to get us all killed. 
If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole.